we're gonna create a customer support AI on our website to reply to customer support emails. Step one is we're gonna get the resources. We're gonna turn web pages into knowledge bases using the Text Cortex extension. Step two is we're gonna organize our knowledge bases. We're gonna decide which pages are gonna be used for what. Step three is we're gonna create a persona. So then the, the AI answers how our sort of brand speaks. Step four is then we're gonna create a prompt template. So every time we wanna answer something via email, let's say for example, it's an email for a refund, it will have a set uh, prompt template that it goes through to have the correct type of response. Let's start on Get Resources. For me, I'm gonna do it for Text Cortex, but again, this can work on any site. It doesn't even have to be your own, it could be some other documentation that you wanna take from the internet and turn into a knowledge base. So basically, all we're gonna do here is we're gonna find the documentation that we want. All I did was I copied and pasted it, exactly what was on the uh, help center. Here, you know, copy, go, go, go all the way down, put it into here, downloaded it as, as a text file. Then I've got this untitled document, which I'm actually gonna call creation system. Now we're at step two. Even though we've only got one knowledge base and one file, we're still gonna organize it. I'm going to go back here, we go to my knowledge bases. We're gonna call this customer support. We're gonna make it private. We are going to upload this. We're gonna complete. The next stage is we're actually gonna create a persona. So for this, we're gonna do a customer support one. Got personas, we we'll call it uh, customer support Jake. Got an email writing. Jake is very friendly. Tech support that uh, always wants to help. Cool. He's answering customer support emails. But reading ease, medium, sentence thought, medium. Passive um, tone, we're gonna say, say conversational. That is now step three done. Now we're gonna set the prompt template. We're going to go to templates, we create a new template, call it creation support. We're gonna create this, uh, this template. And basically it's, what it says is you're an expert in customer support. You want to answer this question in square brackets where we put the question. The people haven't created a prompt template before, the square brackets just means the part of the prompt that we're gonna change every single time make it public. We're now going to set this up where it is almost automated. Let's pretend that this was some sort of email in my inbox. How many credits do I have my account? How do I purchase additional credits? You will go to your prompt templates. You'll type in the one that you just made. For me, it's creation support. Use it, copy and paste the question in, select the correct knowledge base, and you press enter. That's how you, how you build a Xeno customization that can help you do customer service. And again, like, I can use this as many times as, as I want. I should keep doing it. Uh, what are credits? Because like once you got it set up, it's just re really, really easy to keep doing it again and again. I think that's all from uh, from my side. I've been Roman from Text Cortex, and I'll see you in the next one.